Hey, second grade, I hope that your Thursday is going fabulously today and you are ready for some math. So let's get started with our word problem. All right, here it is. Let's read it together. Paisley has 22 polka dot bows and 17 solid colored bows. She gave 10 of the bows away. How many bows does Paisley have left? Okay. So let's read back through this one more time and I want you to listen very carefully for the question that we are being asked to solve. Paisley has 22 polka dot bows and 17 solid colored bows. She gave 10 of the bows away. How many bows does Paisley have left? What question are we being asked? How many bows does Paisley have left? That's the question that we are trying to solve. Now let's go back through and read and listen for what's important about bows that may help us to answer that question. Paisley has 22 polka dot bows and 17 solid color bows. What's important there? 22 polka dot bows and then 17 solid color bows. 22 and 17 are important because it tells us the number of bows. She gave 10 of the bows away. What's important in that sentence? She gave 10 of the bows away. 10 is important, but there are also a few important words in that sentence too. Gave and away. If someone's giving something away, are they getting more or are they going to have less after that? They'll have less, right? Because they are giving them away. They're not getting more. Okay. So now let's work through the plan that we're going to use to solve this problem. We're going to decide if we're going to add or subtract or maybe even do both. So Paisley had 22 polka dot bows and 17 solid colored bows. She gave 10 of the bows away and we need to know how many she has left. So it sounds like first, before we give 10 of the bows away, we need to figure out how many bows she had before that. So to do that, we need to do what to 22 and 17? We need to add them. So 22 plus 17. And then she gave 10 of the bows away. If she's giving bows away, is that adding or subtracting? That's going to be subtracting. So we'll do minus 10 equals, and we're going to solve this problem. We're going to do, just like you would read, we're going to solve from left to right since there is addition and subtraction. We'll do the addition first and then we'll subtract. Okay. Let's come down here. Since we've been doing base 10 blocks so much this week, I'm going to draw a base 10 block model to help us solve. So 22 plus 17 is what I'm looking to solve first. So let me draw my 22, 10, 20, 21, 22, and then my 17, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. Let's add these together. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, so we have 39 here. Now we need to take away the 10. So we'll just take away the 10. Now let's see what we have left. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So it looks like 39 minus 10 equals 29. Let's check our work over here using a different strategy. This time I just want to use a number sentence or equation to solve. So I'm going to do 22 plus 17 first. What is 2 plus 7? Or let's use the commutative property. What is 7 plus 2? 
7 plus 2 is 7, 8, 9. And then what is 2 plus 1? 3. So we have 39. Then don't forget, we're not done yet because we still have to take away the 10. So 39 minus 10. What is nine minus zero? Nine. And then three minus one? Two. So we got 29 two different times. So we can answer this question now. Oops, that barely had room to write. How many bows does Paisley have left? She has 29 bows. That's a lot of bows. Okay, we're going to work one more time this week on solving three-digit addition problems, and we're using two different strategies this week to do that. We are using base 10 block models and expanded form. So get your piece of paper and a pencil or a dry erase board and a marker so that you can work with me. Okay, let's solve this problem. 329 plus 611. All right, let's draw out our base 10 block model first. How many 100s do we need for 329? We need three. 100, 200, 300. And then how many 10s? Two tens, one, two. And then we need our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then 611. How many hundreds for 611? We need six hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many tens? One ten and one one. Oh, and I don't think that we checked our work like we should have. So we need to go back and make sure each one of these represents the number that they're supposed to. Let's check 329. 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 321, 322, 323, 324, 325, 326, 327, 328, 329. Okay, so that one is modeled correctly. Let's check 611. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 610, 611. All right. Now we're ready to add them together. We're going to count our 100s first, then our 10s, and then our 1s. So let's do it together. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 910, 920, 930, 931, 932, 933, 934, 935, 936, 937, 938, 939, 940. So 329 plus 611 is 940. Let's try that one more time with expanded form now. So let's stretch it out, 329. We have 300 plus 20 plus nine. And then we have 600 plus 10 plus one. Okay, and let's add those together. Nine plus one equals 10. Oh, sorry, there's a glare there. Y'all can't see that. There we go. 20 plus 10 equals 30. And then 300 plus 600. Let's flip that around and do 600 plus 300. So 600, 
700, 800, 900. And then add them together. 900 plus 30 is 930. 930 plus 10 equals 940. So both times we got 940. All right, we're going to do one more together and then we'll be done for today. This time I want you to try to solve it on your own and then we'll check your work. So let's see. Let's do the problem 245 plus 453. Okay, so press pause on your video and I want you to see if you can solve this problem. Okay, let's check your work. So with 245, to model that number, you should have put two hundreds, four tens, and five ones. And then for 453, you should have used four hundreds, five tens, and three ones. Whoops. Goodness. Okay, before we add them together, we're going to count and make sure that we modeled each one of them correctly first. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 241, 242, 243, 244, 245. So that one is correct. Let's check 453. 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 451, 452, 453. Okay. So they are both modeled correctly. Now let's count and figure out how many there are total when we add them. Count with me. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 610, 620, 630, 640, 650, 660, 670, 680, 690, 691, 692, 693, 694, 695, 696, 697, 698. Okay, so 245 plus 453 is 698. Let's also use expanded form to solve this problem. So to expand out 245, we have 200 plus 40 plus 5. And then 400 plus 50 plus 3. Make sure you put your plus signs down here, then add them together. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 40 plus 50. What is 40 plus 50? Well, I know 50 plus 50 is 100, and 40 is 10 less than 50. So, what's 10 less than 100? 90. And then 200 plus 400, or flip it around, 400 plus 200, 400, 500, 600. Now add it up, 600 plus 90 plus 8. 600 plus 90 is 690. 690 plus 8 is 698. All right. Keep practicing using base 10 blocks and expanded form to help you solve three-digit addition problems. See you next time. Bye.